Welcome to Electron Online. Now the next example might throw you for a loop. You look at that and go, how do I even start on something like this? But what I always recommend is whenever there's a radical, change it to an exponential form. So let's do that first. So that means that this is equal to the integral of e to the x to the one half power divided by, and uh, that would be x to the one half power times dx. All right. So now what I think we should do is, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe write it like this. This is equal to the integral of e to the x to the one half power times x to the minus one half power times dx. Let's try that and see. So then we have e to the u and perhaps a du right here. So let's see if we have the proper differential. So we're going to call the exponent the u. So u is equal to x to the one half power. That means that du dx is equal to one half x to the minus one half power. And then if I write the dx over here, I get du is equal to one half x to the minus one half power times dx. And then I look over here, notice I have x to the minus one half dx, x to the minus one half dx, but I don't have the one half, which means I need to multiply, and where's my red pen here? I need to multiply this times one half. Of course, and I also have to multiply times two to compensate for that so we don't change the, the, um, the integral. Okay, now that we've done that, I realize I have the same as two times the integral of e to the u times du, and of course the integral of that is simply e to the u plus a constant of integration, right? We can simply say that this is equal to two times e to the u plus a constant of integration. And then we can simply replace the u by x to the one half, so this would be equal to two e to the x to the one half plus a constant of integration, or if you like this, you can write this two e to the square root of x plus c, however you want to leave the final answer. Of course, sometimes you can just look at it and you say, well, this is my e to the u, this is my du, so I can simply write this as 2e to the x to the one half power plus a constant integration, which right away you can go from this step directly to this step when you realize that this is what you are doing. And so at that point, it becomes pretty easy and straightforward. Now, if you don't feel comfortable, again, going from here to here, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and do that substitution so you can more clearly see what you need to be doing. And that is how it's done.